quick update on the frag tank. As you can see, there is water in it. So right now I've got this thing full of tap water and it's been running for a day. Just checking how everything's working, any leaks or anything, and it's fine. So I need to drain this, uh, get it filled with salt water, and you know, get using this thing. Um, also notice I have my lights up. Got that poster from, uh, got that Arifa Palooza last year. I love that poster. Still need to uh, clean up these wires maybe, but everything is doing pretty much what it's supposed to. So I'm going to, um, like I said, drain this, get some salt water in there and get busy with this thing. And I don't know uh, when the next update will be. I do need to go away for work next week. So uh, probably won't have enough time to be filming or a lot of time anyway to be filming any more videos. There's not much else to see with this. Um, you'll see it when it's full and again, everything more squared away. But just wanted to show, uh, I hadn't really shown the overflow. <clears throat> and this is a glassholes.com overflow kit. And I'll put a link uh, in the description where I got it. Uh, but the kit came with everything you needed to set up uh, the system. So with the overflow box, it came with the return nozzle, <clears throat> the bulkheads, uh, all of the plumbing, uh, the, um, the bits to drill the holes instructions i mean it, it was the whole the whole kit can't recommend it high enough i mean it was super easy to use it seems to work just fine and then plumbing is you know not much to say about it uh, there's a single uh outlet for the overflow i did put that union on there to make it easier to service uh, but the water just basically flows down into the flexible pvc tube and just right into the sump I don't have any sump socks or anything in here now. Uh, not sure if I'll be using them, but if I want to, I could make something up to hold that in place. But right now, just out flowing into the skimmer section. And then the return line, uh, it's just a hose barb fitting, and that's some vinyl hose, which is coming down and going into this pump right here. Uh, pump is working. I'm not sure if that's the pump I'm going to continue with. Uh, just one that I had laying around. It's a little noisy, but we'll see how it works. And then... 10-gallon <clears throat> tank will be getting shut down. I'm going to be taking all this live rock and the coral and stuff. That'll be going into the frag tank. All this sand uh, is going to be used for the Rico's Nano Tank Challenge. So I'll be using that. Uh, that little fish, he's going to be going in one of the other tanks. And then all that mackerel I've been letting grow... Uh, we'll be put into this refugium down here. So yeah, that's uh, that's the quick update. Just wanted to show that everything is now up and running. Pretty happy with the results so far. Um, oh, just one thing that I may change. So in my last video, I was talking about my sump design and everything. Um, this last baffle, I think I'm gonna take that out and replace this with a shorter piece of glass. Uh, all my other two sumps that I made, I did have a shorter piece in there. And I don't know why I didn't order the shorter piece this time. I thought it wouldn't matter, but I think it kind of does. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, uh, but the water's coming out of here, flowing into here. And then there's nowhere for it to spill into. It's just kind of sitting here. And you can see that film just kind of collecting on the surface there. I don't like that. So if I lower this one, it means it's going to spill into here. And I could put some of that filter floss into there to catch all of that scum because um, it'll just skim off the surface you know down into there so that's probably the only thing I'm going to be changing right now uh, but aside from that everything seems to be working as it should so um, that's about it so thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video